In this case, in Yeri and Desiree's case, Naxos and I were looking for something really specific. We wanted to bring back something that normally is ignored, and unjustly so. A singspiel in this case, composed by a female composer, and, and you don't need me to tell you how rare that is, especially as a very successful one as Bronzer was in her time. It's a difficult process. Working from a manuscript, you never know what you, you, you come across. You never know if what you have in your hands is a complete work or it's just sketches. Uh, and so you start spending time on something that, and you never know what the final product is going to be. I find the music in Yeri and Bessery very fascinating, especially in this sense. From the beginning to the end of the singspiel, the music evolves together with the evolution of the characters. The characters are introduced in a, in, in a 2D way at first, and before the end of the singspiel, they become fully rounded 3D characters. The music more or less follows the same pathway. We start with simpler melodies and simpler harmonies, which get more and more complicated and interesting and colorful towards the end of the work. Working on, 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 on a piece like Yeri and Betterly uh, requires many, many hours of very hard labor. Um, I start researching about the piece, I start looking for different sources, uh, being manuscript score, public scores, uh, vocal scores, libretti, etc, etc. Everything needs to come together uh, in the best informed way, so to be sure that the, you know, the final product is the best it can be. Working on this project was an incredible experience for me. Uh, first of all, I was blessed to lead uh, a group of very talented musicians, uh, the Malmö Opera Orchestra, which, apart from giving their best and, and, and managing to translate into music what, what I was asking of them, uh, they just allowed me to have such a great time while we were doing this recording. <laughs>